by the current finance minister uh, in Zimbabwe, Mutuli Nzobe. It shocked a lot of Zimbabweans, uh, and a lot of Zimbabweans are going to be affected by his budget. Uh, this includes motorists, this includes uh, house owners, this includes uh, um, migrants, people who have migrated from Zimbabwe, running away from the harsh economic uh, realities. It will also affect businesses, small businesses uh, in particular, and also it will affect those businesses which are keeping their monies at home uh, in the interest of protecting uh, their uh, monies because of the current a crisis associated with the banking system of Zimbabwe. Greetings and welcome on your lovely channel, the Tron Pani Mugo Music TV. If you are joining us for the first time, please do remember to press the red or black subscribe button so that next time when we beam live, guess what, you become the first one to watch us. So Mturi Nube yesterday presented a very, very uh, shocking budget. Uh, one of the things that Zimbabweans should press for, uh, I will start with migrants. You remember that there are migrants in Zimbabwe around the world because of the current uh, economic and social issues as a result of the political crisis uh, that has been ongoing uh, in Zimbabwe. So now problems that will affect the migrants. Number one, uh, if you are a migrant, uh, it means your passport will go up as from January next year with about 80%. Uh, there were about 120 United States dollars passport as it is now and uh, the most expensive passport in the world uh, in Zimbabwe. We had the most expensive passport in the world. In Zambia, you can get a passport for about $14, but in Zimbabwe, you will have to lose uh, around 200 United States dollars, uh, the hard end uh, currency, uh, and we know that a lot of people are not working. Uh, this is what causes in Zimbabwe uh, illegal migrants, people to migrate illegally because a, a, a passport has been, a, I mean, it is a luxury, very, very expensive to be obtained uh, in Zimbabwe. The other thing for the motorist, you would have to pay for uh, the, to the toll gates are going to go high uh, for all the motorists in Zimbabwe. And the most thing that uh, actually surprised a lot, even house owners, if you own a house in Zimbabwe, apart from paying the rates, very, very, very expensive uh, rates from the local authorities, uh, the government wants any extra money from you, you will now need to pay uh, the tax for, if, especially if you own a mansion uh, that is worth more than 100,000 United States dollars. So it is now a crime in Zimbabwe to own a house. Uh, so th 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 this, is, uh, this is nothing but a shame. What is this government trying to do? It is a broke government. And we are beginning to see uh, the meaning of uh, mantra, political mantra that Emerson Tambutsomnangakwa has been preaching. Uh, he is targeting the poorest Zimbabweans. And uh, who has made these Zimbabweans to be poor? It is him. And the Zimbabweans whose lives are endangered in foreign lands. So these are the people that are targeted by the Emerson Tambutsomnangakwa a regime. So if you own a house, you will now uh, be required to pay a tax apart from the rates that you are paying in Zimbabwe. Uh, where have you ever uh, seen this? Uh, I think this shocked a lot of people. Uh, there are quite a number of taxes that have been uh, introduced. And also if you have a company, uh, if your company is less than 20,000 United States dollar, uh, it means you cannot and also if you are not paying taxes, uh, especially for small business, uh, uh, for small businesses, uh, you won't be allowed to procure goods from the manufacturers. Yes, you got that right. You won't be allowed to procure uh, goods from the manufacturers. So we are seeing a government uh, that has upped its game in terms of ensuring that left, right, and center uh, people's monies are taken away. For example, they said uh, the, 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 the toll gate fees that will be increased, uh, they will make sure that they are protected 
adapted uh, so that they rehabilitate and they build new roads, uh, inf improve infrastructure. Do you believe in them? Have they ever said the truth? There is no truth that come, can come from the mouth of Sanubiev. Yes, uh, that's a fact. Uh, this money that they are collecting, this money in the form of taxes, uh, this money is in the form of raising the cost of passports, uh, these monies are not going to benefit the people of Zimbabwe. Uh, this uh, Emerson Dambosom Nangawa is looting. This is grand uh, looting. And the, the very, very painful aspect of it is that this looting is done to the poor of the poorest Zimbabweans who have been impoverished by ZANU PF. Uh, where do they expect? Uh, people to get money, particularly how people who own houses. People, it is a crime in Zimbabwe to own a house. It is a crime in Zimbabwe to be seen having more money. And also because uh, people in Zimbabwe have a history whereby they have been banking, putting their monies uh, in banks of Zimbabwe, and their money just disappeared like that. And a lot of people are no longer trust the banking uh, institutions in Zimbabwe. And to force the people uh, to bank their monies now, uh, Zimra, according to Mtuli Mube, would be empowered uh, to search people, to raid people's houses, and then uh, locate uh, where you put your money yourself. Uh, and if it is a password, you will be forced to produce that password and give them access to your funds so that they see that you are tax uh, compliant. So it's going to be uh, the hardest the moment for a lot uh, of Zimbabweans. I'm talking about businesses and this definitely, these guys, they don't look at the consequences of their policies. These policies are going to scare away investors. Uh, these policies are going to, 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 to frustrate a lot of Zimbabweans uh, already living from hand to mouth. These policies are going to destroy a lot of businesses uh, in Zimbabwe. Anyway, uh, what did you expect from the people who were not elected by the people of Zimbabwe? You, you can't expect this people uh, to be implementing pro-people policies. Uh, I think it is the worst budget uh, in the history of Zimbabwe. There are quite a number of things that are text, uh, uh, very, very, very primitive things that uh, are text. Something that we, I think Zimbabwe has moved from being a socialist uh, to a capitalist. Almost everything uh, that you have, you will have uh, to pay a tax for it. Almost uh, everything that you owe you will have, especially if it's of high value, uh, you will have to pay a tax for it. You will be forced uh, to put your monies into banks. We will see people's houses being raided, particularly if the government gets suspicious that you are keeping uh, money. So we, 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 we are seeing this Emerson Tambuzo Mnanga Kwa Kakistoka Kras uh, government uh, led by thugs uh, upping their game uh, in terms of terrorizing uh, the people of Zimbabwe. Uh, this budget was nothing, uh, but I think uh, it speaks volumes. 2024 is going to be a hard year for a lot of people uh, in Zimbabwe. It's going to be a hard year for Zimbabweans, it's, uh, for businesses. It's going to be a hard year for migrants. You will, you, uh, anyway, they don't have a choice. They know that you don't uh, have a choice, which means Zimbabwe enjoys having its people uh, going outside the country and uh, now they want to milk that very very hard end cash which is worked hard for sometimes uh, people are risking their lives threatened uh, day and night and all these thugs wants to do they just want to eat for free it is not in the interest of developing Zimbabwe it is not in the interest of improving the livelihoods of Zimbabwe it is in the interest of ensuring that Emerson Tambutum Nanga get richer and a richer. So this is the reality uh, of the Mtuli uh, Nube uh, budget. If you own a car, it is a crime. If you own a house, it is a crime. Uh, if you, I mean, if you own quite a number of things and the government sees that you own those things, uh, they are coming after you. 
this is what uh, that budget it, it they, there is no pro poor even the the, the the COVID grants that they were giving uh, to the teachers to the public service pub, i mean uh, civil servants they are going to be going uh, after that grant taxing it and when they tax it they tell you uh, that 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 money will go towards your pensions uh, and, and you never know whether you get it and this is how they, they manipulate the people and I'm sure the people will see them for the who they are. It's going to be very, very difficult uh, for, for the people of Zimbabwe to survive. Uh, there is nothing that spoke to industrial development. There is nothing uh, that spoke to the improvement of the economy, reducing inflation. We are going to see inflation skyrocketing. We are going to see the life uh, getting very very difficult thank you very much for watching us if you are watching us for the first time please do remember to press the red or black subscribe button so that next